you knew defending James Harden was going to be tough heading into this one. It was slower second half, but I mean, those 31 points in the first half, I mean, he did all the damage he needed to do there. What did you see in terms of what was difficult about picking him up? Well, I think, you know, great player, great offensive team. As strange as it sounds, we gave too many easy baskets. I mean, you know, there were uh, four or five coverage plays in the first half there were just a couple of straight got beat off the dribble um, you can't you can't give those away you know you have a team that can attack you so many different ways you you have to make them earn everything and I think I think you got too many easy ones early and then um, you know we did a little bit better I think with it in the second half but it was you know we uh, we didn't execute I think we got at times too worried about picking up fouls, you know, with uh, getting our hand, and we got a little bit where we were less aggressive on the ball, and instead of we were at a point where we just needed to square the ball up and guard it, we were still worried about picking up a foul. I thought, you know, as the game went on, we did a little bit better, but it hurt us early. Dennis Smith Jr. started this game, you know, he, he really strongly. I mean, he finished with solid numbers, too. What did you see from him tonight? I thought he just what you said. I thought he was well rounded. He had he had steals. He was active with his defense. Um, you know, he was aggressive with the offense. He was really trying to get guys involved, um, and he he did. He got extended minutes and had a chance to play. I think he took advantage of it. And coach, you know, the small ball that this Houston team is playing with tonight. You know, what kind of difficulty does that present in terms of defense overall, aside from just Harden? Well, I think, you know, when when you have good offensive players, they're good offensive players. Their system really spreads you out. They take advantage of, of their strengths. You know, they play to their strengths. And, you know, they made some threes in the in the uh, first half. Uh, but I still think, you know, the story was we, we allowed too much. You know, you can bend a little bit, but you can't break. And, and I think in that area, we, we made it difficult on ourselves. Justin, with... Covering hard, and you just threw more bodies at him. And just yeah, more more traps, more squared, just uh, you know, better execution of what we were trying to do in the first half. Um, if we were going to bring a guy over, he had to get there early, and then we had to rotate down. We weren't always connected on the backside at times in the first half. So I, I think those were you know some of the things. We did a little bit better job on all of that, and then we trapped him a little bit, and and. Uh, you know, we're a little more effective with it. Where do you think we talked earlier about having a couple days to prepare for them? Is it the way they play offense? Is it no matter how much you prepare, still when you get in there against them, easier said than done? It's different. We can't, obviously, we, we go through, we show the video, we do a lot of walkthrough stuff, but it's, it's obviously different when they're out there and the speed that they're playing at and the force that they're playing with, you know, it makes it a little bit different. It's not always the scheme, it's the pace, it's the, you know, uh, you know, and the overall power that they play with when they're driving it and moving the ball. RJ had that good start in the first quarter and really seemed to be kind of uh, pressing the issue offensively. What do you think contributed to that? And then also, why do you think he wasn't quite able to keep that pace the rest of the night? I didn't hear what you said on the... He, he was kind of like pressing the issue offensively in the first quarter there. I think he had, I forget how many points he had, but he seemed to be kind of uh, you know, taking control of things offensively. I was just wondering why you think that was the case and why he wasn't able to be as consistent with that throughout the night. Yeah, I'm not sure I can answer what you're saying. I didn't. I thought he was really, really sharp the first quarter. Yeah. So um, uh, I think, you know, I don't know what he had in the first quarter, 14 or 16 or whatever it was. That's a tough pace. Even Harden couldn't, you know, keep up with, with the pace to do it for four quarters. But I thought he, he you know, he was taking what was there. And he was aggressive with it. He was highly efficient with it. And, um, you know, as we went on, you know, I think, you know, they closed up some of those gaps. He passed it. It created some stuff for some other guys, too.